Hi everyone, it's Michelle here. We're going real casual <laughs> with these next few dailies. Uh, long story, but anyway, hi. Hi, welcome to my unfinished room. Just on my phone. I don't know what this microphone is doing. It was crackling in the last video. If it is this time, I'm so sorry, okay? Obviously, I can't tell what's going on with it. But let's get a June 5th card and see what is going on for us. If you want to get a reading with me, I am, you know, I always keep you guys posted. I am catching up on those this week. Angelsouls444.com. Make sure you specify whether you want an angelic or an Akashic Records reading. I do both. Uh, you can also get a live session with me. For the live sessions, email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Okay, not the greatest angle of me. You're looking up my nose. Hi. Okay. <laughs> All right. We have the magician. The number is one. We have to turn our situation around. Nothing's going to do it for us. So this is us learning how to shift, whether it's energetically, in your perspective. This isn't a fake it till you make it. Now, that is effective. People make that work. I don't know. But we want lasting change. For lasting change and lasting manifestations, that has to come from the heart space. Okay, so we have Archangel Raziel, who's all about <laughs> finally leaving the darkness behind. If it's been one thing after another, finally leaving that behind and working towards your blessings. So this says you can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. Well, I don't know that it's going to magically appear. I mean, maybe. Who are we to say no? I mean... <laughs> Listen, what this is saying is there's going to be a lot thrown at you. There's going to be a lot trying to take your joy, trying to take your happiness, you know, all the things, right? Trying to exhaust you. See, this is another one. Make sure you're watching the weekly. If something is unnecessarily exhausting, whether that's a person who's really self-indulgent and they love the sound of their own voice and you know, they, they don't, I always say this, they don't want a conversation, they want a captive audience. If someone keeps speaking over you, acting as if what you have to say is not worth anything, all of those are examples of sort of an energy vampire, just taking, 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 because they genuinely think that they are entitled. Now, when they take and we get drained, and I've been in this camp too before, you know, like we have to take a minute and restore ourselves and that means some quiet meditation self-care like I know if I haven't if I'm eating on the run like you know maybe not sitting and preparing a meal for myself I'll make sure I have a good cup of tea that's you know very nourishing <laughs> you know it's something to try to switch that energy and get me going in a different direction or if I'm super tired not making myself feel guilty for resting, for not doing something for one day. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be part of the point, right? Where your energy gets restored enough, it shifts your perspective, and you can start making some other things happen besides all the speed bumps. Okay, again, angelsouls444.com if you want to sign up with me. If not, cool, make sure... Did God just come in here? Did you see that light? <laughs> I don't know what's happening, y'all. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, connect with me in the comments if you want to. We'll leave it there because it's getting weird around here. I love you all and take care.